YouTubers Brian Proctor back again with another video and this one is entitled how to draw hands for comic books now I know there are a lot of videos out there that show you how to draw hands but a lot of these videos teach you everything about the hands like how to draw each bone and each knuckle and each wrinkle and all that and do you really need that when you're drawing comic books basically all you want to do is draw your character punching somebody in the face so this is why I'm doing how to draw hands for comic books because it will teach you the quick way to do hands to make it look good and exciting and recognizable because a lot of people have trouble drawing hands in so many different ways so this video is probably going to be a part one uh, of a couple parts beyond this one is the fist I'm doing the fist first because I don't want to throw a bunch of different hands positions on you at one time and have your brain just rattling because you can't keep up so this one is about the fists first and then the next part will be about probably an open hand or something I haven't figured that out yet but <sighs> with that said let's get going with this how to draw hands for comics part one the fist all right all right let's get right to this let's start out with the front fist so basically everything is going to be square or rectangle so let's just let's do this First thing you want to do is get you a nice size rectangle. You got to probably play around with it until you get the, the right size that you want. Then from there, you want to put another little rectangle under the bottom. Now, after that, you want to separate this into four, even one, two, you want to put three lines, so, uh, separating it into four as best you can equal now with this here instead of this being flat you want to bring it down at an angle like that you might have to bring it up some more but as i say you can play around with it but just follow these steps like that now the next part is you want to put a curve line under here like that pretty simple now as this curves down my eraser you want the highest point to be this knuckle here so you want to do just a triangle basically if you're doing each one you want to do a triangle like that and then like that and let's say this is going to be the highest point so just imagine drawing like a rooftop, drawing a house like that. Now from on this one, I'm getting my fingers. They might be a little fat, but we'll worry about that later. From this first finger, you want to do a line just above that, just a little bit, not halfway, just, just a little bit above. Because this finger is, when you make a fist, this finger is always highest. I don't know if you guys can see that. So you'll see the, it, it, the knuckle bends right here. Knuckle. It bends right here and the others are down lower. So it's like that. So, okay. So from there, let's just round this off. Let's round. I say if you want to, let's just round them all off real quick. Just round it, round it. And I'll ink this real quick. Now, if you want to show a little of the bottom of the finger or the end of the finger, just do that just slope that like so now getting a little more detail into it let's bring this in let's bring that in instead of going straight down bring it in like that we'll bring this line into just a little bit because these are going to come straight down and these two are going to come in the tighter you make your fist the more in those two come like that now from here Let's do this. Let's go up and you're kind of making another rooftop a little bit. I would say maybe like halfway between that finger. Come down and like that. And then you want to just round this off. I would say kind of like that. And remember these are just these are quick hands for comics. These are not your 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 basic your hand uh for for like serious drawings if you want to do close-up hands this is not the one and then you put some knuckles here like so and if i ink that it would look like this 
hopefully my inking skills are, are up to par today because I am another thing let's uh, let's bring this in just a little bit I am what I don't know if I got what I was saying tired and my hands are shaking and one thing about this is let me continue to ink while I draw you won't bring these lines all the way up to the top these lines are going to stop right about there remember to bring that in curve that around that's going to be in curve that one around so you want to see some of the bottom of that finger there and you don't have to it, it depends on how much is turned and as I say the fingers are going to stop maybe halfway a little more than halfway and a lot of times it curves like that so this there that there and then this and this one is going to be higher so put it like right here and then you'll have that finger bent there and come up like that so this one you got that little rooftop again here here and then under here and just curve it because your, your thumb is actually curved and it bends right there and it tucks under there and you have that bottom part of your palm and that's like halfway and then the other one starts but sometimes you can't you won't see that piece let me show you what I'm saying if, if I can do this you have this piece and this piece and when you turn it up this was this side is going to be lower I'm not sure if you can see this or not and this one's going to be higher because that's going to be once the thumb tucks in that's going to make that meat jump out a little bit more but it depends on how your hand is turned you might not see that so we'll just we'll just focus on that and uh, another thing too which I almost forgot almost forgot is you want to do just a little triangle a little rooftop here and then come out and this is usually halfway because you you have half and half of the palm so you come out halfway and then the other one will take over so you have this little triangle comes out here and then we're getting into more detail and then here and then the other one takes over there and as I say that that um, it depends on how your fish is turned you might not see this one so if this is shadowed like that You wouldn't see the bottom of those two fingers that be shadowed and then usually a lot of times your palm would be shadowed as well so so that's your front fist so you could uh do like that could be like a punch bicep and your delt like that so that's your front front um, front hand and then add detail if you choose to but I'm just showing you the basics the basic this is for comics and a lot of times unless you're doing a close-up close-up straight um, uh, punch then you won't see that much detail but a lot of times you just have a, your fists and your, your characters are small anyway so you won't see too much of the fist anyway so that's your front fist let's do the side fist now and remember we're going to use squares um, rectangles rectangles and squares pretty much so we do another one you pretty much get the size that you want that you see of a hand of a fist like that you have that one now you want to do another rectangle on the side so if you took a line and you from this corner here and you drew it down so you will you because you want to leave this some space here and that's where you want to do your other your other rectangle like that so you do your square or you do your rectangle at this point do I don't want to say 45 degree angle but then you do another rectangle and leave space here like that so from here you want to you want to round this off this part off like that now comes the hard part you want to because your fingers you you have your this finger is going to be in front of this finger so you only see the two from this so you have the top 
and I have two lines on the top of my hand so let's let's get rid of one so that one so you have your top of your rectangle just below it you want to do a line and then bring it down like that and you can either bring it down to this line or you can have it above this line so let's just say we'll bring it down to this line so we're going to do this let's just bring it straight down all the way to that line now from here from this this little rectangle that you did this little curve from you want to come up and you want to basically somewhere around here you want to you want to do a basic a letter y you want to go this way and this way and that's just basically that's just the letter y and when you tuck your fingers in here it's going to bend so at this point you're going to have that line here to tuck it in and you're going to have this line this line actually curves if you look at your fist this line actually curves around you have other uh, creases but the main one is this little letter Y right here so that is just an, and not an exaggeration it's just an easy get over because as I say you're going to be drawing small hands for a comic book you'll never have a yeah I'm not gonna say you never but more likely you won't have a panel this size with just a uh, hand punching somebody you might you might not so from there let's round this off here and then come back and make that one line so let's get rid of this and so we have this and this now this is straight across here I want to bring that down a little bit so let's erase that from this top one we want to bring it down and then this disappears so we have this one finger, we have this other finger, like that. So your, your knuckles will be right here. Now, to make this more, um, I don't want to say realistic or, 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 or believable or better looking, let's take this finger and from the joint, from the joint, from that knuckle, let's bring this out like that, like almost like it's covering this part. So it's going to look like that. And then, if you want, you can have this second finger come under the bottom. But as I say, this is it's a small hand you're going to be drawing. You're not going to see that much, much detail to it. So bringing this hand down. And that's, that, that's about pretty much all it is to drawing the side of the hand. And then you can, you can curve a little thumb up under here if you choose. Curve that out. And you curve a little thumb up under here and then your wrist comes here and then you have your 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 veins there a little crease here where your where your um curves where your wrist curves so if i ink that it would be like this curve around in there and then use my thumb here my y my knuckle here it's going to come out and then down my second knuckle for my finger which is coming in or tucks behind that we won't worry about this bottom piece and then it's going to curve down like that bend there and then your wrist now there's a lot of muscles that are in the um hand and i think it's, it's shaped you have your your what is it that bone that bone that, that protrusion that's like right here and I think the muscles come shape something like this but I don't do all that because it just it throws away from the actual hand so this is basically all you would need to do that side hand and I believe this is still the right hand so that's just a quick using those um, shapes. And then, of course, this would be black because you couldn't see that. And then say the joint, you could. I, I usually don't, but you could use a little bit of um, just a little bit of shadow or, or hatching to, to show the joint. And then there's more muscle that comes around here. But we're not going to get detailed into that 
and I'm doing line weight from the other video. But yeah, that's all you need basically for your side finger. Like because that finger does tuck up under here, it squares itself. So let's move to the other side of the hand. Other side of the hand. Now again, we want to do your rectangle and life is just squares circles and triangles once you master those three shapes and you start to see um that shape in anything you do then it'll be easy for you to draw like um this glass case eyeglass case is basically just a rectangle just rounded off and i can show you so many different things um what a pencil sharpener is a square with two rectangles in it so if you master these three shapes then you're good to go to draw just about anything you don't have too many triangles in the world but um yeah okay so with this one you have your rectangle again so now you want to do i would say from here now this this there, this was a little difficult because there's so many steps and um I haven't really, I want to say mastered which step to do first and which step to do second, but let's do this from here, from like this point here, let's just go up halfway. From this point here, let's come down a little bit. So you want to do one, two. So you got, you have one, two, three. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm tired. <laughs> so, and X. So you want to do a, a reverse L for this one, uh, reverse L for this one, and then another one for this one. So this 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 is going to be more of a J, not an L. And then this here, you want to round that off, and the same thing here. You want that you want that letter Y because this is your fingers tucked up again. There's another finger and another finger here. So these joints, joints, knuckles, told you I'm tired, are gonna curve like so. And you're not gonna see that other finger. It depends on how much you turn it. You're really not going to see it too much. And we're gonna add a little bit something more and change this anyway. So, and again, this is gonna be down a little bit now from here you want to you want to curve this up really this is going to be curved up because this is this is this piece of the palm right here you want to curve that up and then from about this finger here you want to do your other part of your palm now from there you want to do a square another, another rectangle like here And you have that rectangle and you want to do this little piece right here this connecting piece this little triangle here like that so let me bring this up and this is your wrist okay so now that we have this let's kind of make this a little better so with this one you want to keep this finger pretty much coming straight down with this one, you want to bring that finger in just a little bit. And with this one, you want to bring that finger in even more. So it's going to be like down in, in like that. But first I had to get you to go straight like that. It'll be down in and then in like that. bring this finger back a little bit more because it is tucked up under like this basically up under that palm so you want to bring that and that's a, it's a the, the, the J shape was a J yeah the J I'm thinking the other way around the J shape bring this up through here and again at this point you want to have that uh, Y shape that might be a reverse Y 
so you don't want that finger to stick out too much this finger here stick out too much so there's a connection here for the thumb and the thumb curves in so we're going to round that off here and of course you have your your uh, knuckles and it comes down in the hand because the hand is actually the hand is actually rounded like that so that's why you see uh, this part of the finger that part of the finger and that part of the finger but since this finger here is so high I don't know if I can see that on camera because it's on the inside because this finger here is so high you won't see that finger this one hides behind that one so you only see the three so if I could ink this and make it actually look like something it would look a little something like this now the one thing about this is to me is a little fat so I would make this straighter and then bring this in like so instead of having it belly fat round so let's ink this if it doesn't look good I'll cut it and make it look right and then this one thumb is going to those fingers are going to rest on that thumb so you want to curve that thumb more of a, a oval shape instead of a square and then this little extra piece here and then you're going to have this piece here but of course that's a little fat to be honest and maybe a little long but as I say you have to play around with it if you did see the other finger you would only see just a little bit that comes up but i usually don't it depends on the turn of the hand which way it's turned and then you this will be black anyway so this would probably be black on um, shadow should i say black and this would probably be in shadow too and to me even at that you'd have to play with it it's a little fat you'd have to play with it but once you get the basic shapes down then you're good to go that's why I said when you do the rectangle you get your right shape get your shape that you want I said that could be considered a little long I could I could have cut it like right about here and then did that and let's try that just because so and then this there that would have been a little bit better but so we did something like that comes in like that so that would have been a little bit better because I had it a little too long but as long as you get the, the basics of it I'm good so let me get another piece of paper and then we'll do one or two more so you had the front side and side so let's do like the back the back is like a two-fold thing so doing the back you want to do another square rectangle and if you're new to drawing hands you're going to have to you have to feel what size rectangle you want to have like that and then you're going to have another rectangle coming out of here like this like that so I was almost lost for a second you want to curve down like this again and then your knuckles you have your your four again to one one two three and this is the back of the hand so and that is kind of kind of big for the back so let's go with it you have your knuckle knuckle highest one knuckle and then going back down on that along that curve 
So you're going to bring this down. You're going to bring it out and around like this. And then this one, we're going to curve around and let's not have this out so much like this and around a circle like that. So if this was the back of your hand, let's just say you, you're going to punch somebody. Or well, somebody's punching somebody. This is the back of your hand. So the, you would put the wrist maybe about like right here. Let's see, I could bring this out a little bit more. Once again, you put your top of your wrist right here. And then maybe your thumb again. Your thumb again? out a little bit further, like so. Erase these, and then you can put your knuckle lines like so, coming back. Because the hand would come, you would have the palm and the other palm seen through. And then you don't want to put your wrist too low or too high, you'd have to change the angle. So for that angle, the wrist would probably be about somewhere in here. And that thumb, I'm not really liking that thumb. I will probably pull that thumb forward. Why is the simplest one causing me so much trouble? Hold on, my racer Phil. So let's pull it, let's make that thumb, bring that thumb up. Instead of having the triangle go down, or the rectangle go down, let's bring that rectangle up just a little bit. And as I said, it all depends on the angle of the hand. So it's going to be like that and give it just a little bit of roundness, like so. Like that. So if I was punching somebody in the face, if he's punching somebody in the face, like that. It would kind of be like that. And let's just do that. Here's the eye. The eyebrow. It'd be like that. It'd be more, probably be more rounded. Let's bring that down a little bit more. Is this going to be the highest point? Like that. Remember to bring this out because whenever you tighten your, your fist, whenever you make a fist, you have your hand, you, whenever you make a fist, this little piece of meat always comes out. So it's going to be more flared out like that. Now, one thing about this is if you're drawing from the back, let me erase some of these lines. That can be like a two-fold thing. Well, let's just say, let's forget the face for, for now. And let's just say this person was holding a weapon or something to that point. Let's erase this real quick. So you have this. Now, what you want to do is just Bring your some fingers up, just half an oval maybe, and this one. This is going to be out further than this one, and these two will be uh, even lower. And this one you might not even see, but we'll just put that there. And this is just ovals. And then let's just say you he's holding a pipe or something. And if he's holding a pipe, he's going to have to be up. He was holding some kind of Oh, it's some kind of something. So depending on the size of the pipe, let's bring this up, pipe, pole, weapon, whatever, like that. You would bring the fingers just over it. So this one, so this little baby finger would be up. I believe it's the highest one. So yeah, so you have a two-fold thing going on there. So if I inked it, so this thumb, 
here where you block where you rounded it off it would come up under like that hopefully you guys can still see all of this so I'll do this one first we have the 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 fist right there he's punching or it could be flying or shooting a, a little energy blast or whatever that the case may be there's your wrist and there are your, your knuckles your veins that come back right there so that's your fist punching somebody now um, you could have part of the finger showing here if that is uh, actual fist that you're doing but you don't have to as I said this is comic books and a lot of times your hands are really small usually you're you're focusing on the face and the body the hands are just like secondary so if this guy had a, a weapon a pipe a sword or a knife or uh, whatever you draw the size of the knife pipe weapon whatever you have in his hand and then you draw the fingers and this the fingers they come in a little a little but they can your hands could be open so forget I even said that so you just want to bring your fingers up far enough to hold on to whatever that the, um, your character has over top of it and then you can have that line come down from the knuckles down into the hand and then don't don't remember don't forget to curve that thumb around here like so and then then you have someone grabbing or holding on to something a pipe whatever I said pipe weapon whatever so that is the three what is that four four I wanted to show you I'm gonna probably do a second second part because there's uh, so many different ways to do hands that I want you guys to get it I don't want to bog you down with uh, seven or eight examples right off the bat and then the video becomes long so we're gonna cut it right there and then I'm gonna do another video on um, the open hands and open hand positions so that's it for this video and I will see you guys in the next video so stay tuned it should be hopefully less than a week all right, see you guys.